Oh boy. Okay. Hello. Headset review gamer here. And today we're gonna discuss Smismus. <laughs> or actually my Smismus list sort of thing. Like, there, I mean, there are some things I want to discuss in terms of what I want for Smismus, but there are also some changes I want to, like, apply onto the core game itself. Like, I want to... I wanna talk about that, because how my brain works, I get these random thoughts, and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna put them in a video, so here I am. So, like... Okay, so Smismus is coming up. Christmas. I can already tell the hat case is gonna be somehow on par with Halloween, or even worse than Halloween, but one can only hope that we get some good stuff this year. Oh, and in terms of war paints, if we even get those... I, so, I went through the workshop, and I scoured through some war paints and some hats and these are my tier lists well these i'm gonna go through them so this is the war paint tier list all right these are some genuinely good war paints and i and i'm really sad that we don't get war paints anymore for for christmas because there are good themes surrounding them it's just whenever they val pick something they just pick <laughs> the extreme that doesn't fit in the game but yeah, these war paints look good in my opinion, and I'm not biased in any shape or form. But then there's people who are like, but man, get your own war paints that I like. Okay, here's your tier list for those people who don't have like a dad or something. Uh, here you go. I'm looking out for you people as well, don't worry. But yeah, uh, no. <laughs> but those are the war, war paints that are genuine, that, that I, that at least I want to see three of them in the game. At least, Valve. There are some really good war paints on the workshop. Uh, just that Valve... Val, Val, Val is Val, you know, they, they somehow picked the dumb, dumbest shit. Okay, so not onto hats. I, I picked a few. <laughs> I went through the workshop. The hat was a bit... The hats were a bit uh, harder to choose because I didn't really want to go only with misks. But I found some really good cosmetics. And on the front page of the workshop, it looks really good. <laughs> I mean, of course, you're going to find some hot garbage over, over there. But there are some, gen there are some good cosmetics, all right? There, there are some good ones. And, and I had, and there were, there were so there were so many. I didn't know what, what to pick, but I have to stick with a few. So I mean, this is how it turned out basically. And no, no new initial effects. We can recycle them. Okay, there are like I don't know how many hundreds of initial effects that we have, including recolors, by the way. We can reuse them. So that will that will be great. You know, you you can, we can have like an active series, and Val will say like, hey, these initial effects are active, not like the old ones. I'm talking like TF Go cases. You know, these cases that have like uh, these tiered hats. I don't have a script. <laughs> Basically, when Valve opted to go with the community route and just take initial effects, cosmetics, and shove them into a case like the Rainy Day and like Mayflower and Blue Moon. Basically, reuse all of those initial effects past 2018 or 16, whenever the community effects came in. I don't know. Not Halloween effects from 2013, like with Hellfire and stuff, because uh, Trader Mains will send Valve Death Threats again. So maybe not do that. But reuse some unusual effects. Some some of them looks really cool. You just don't use the Smith Smith 2021. They're like hot garbage. Same with same with taunts, by the way. You reuse them, please. Oh. Also, uh, I got some Yule Must. If you don't drink it, you're a say. Okay. So now onto the maps. What I want for maps, there are some genuinely good reskins. Like good res I, I know Sesti covered one of these. Yeah, but I've been thinking about doing this also, so please don't don't. But basically I uh, played with him on a bunch of these maps when when I think he live streamed it, I think, or maybe uh R did his friend. And we played through those maps and most of them played really well. I mean all of them played through really well. But I really like the uh the turbine reskin. It looks super damn good and to the map creators i applaud you but please make so you can sit on top of the christmas tree at mid you gotta do it man you got you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta make that thing you you can you must sit, you, you must sit, i must sit on it. me telling the map developer to make me sit on top of a christmas tree christmas tree being a slang and a nickname for my uncle's call but yeah no like we can have christmas themed maps that are locked behind this holiday restriction thing but we want some vanilla maps right like altitude altitude was really good last year we got uh um, bread space kind of sucks and it kind of sucks still uh we got pier these are really good maps and i want to see more added not reskins 
entirely new maps. But of course, Valve is never gonna put them like in the official queue because that needs maintenance, and Valve uh, does nothing. Even though uh, they tweeted and they say they love the game, they don't. But I want some really, I want some new maps. And Christmas reskins are good. Like Christmas reskins should should probably be restricted behind the holiday uh, uh, map queue thingy. But new maps should officially be added to the game. Like entirely new maps, not reskins, new ones. And there's there's also this Dust Bowl reskin that I saw. I think it's called Winter Bowl, I think, maybe? Mm. It looks really good. The lighting, it doesn't feel TF2-ish, but I like the fact that it's night. It's, it really sets the mood. This cozy Christmas mood of being, I don't know, b being bending forward towards the pub stomping Crits Creek Medic and Demo on the other team. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Three new maps. Officially added to the queue. That would be really good. New maps to have fun. That's a W in my book, so I don't have to go onto bad water and upward for the 30th time of the day. So that was pretty good. And also, uh, back to a bit to the war paints. It was really hard to find like a Christmas war paint that was, well, Christmas themed or Smithmas themed, but that was actually good. I recently found out that Mar, one of my friends, he made a uh, Christmas uh, war paint. And it looks really good, but again, I feel like it's a bit too Christmassy, in my opinion. Like, it can be Smithmas themed, but some of them are really, really, really bright. And I mean, most of them are just ice, really. It's just ice and white. It's lol. Damn it. <laughs> so now, onto the core gameplay changes that I want to uh, do. So, uh, first of all, Nerf Snipe. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so. <laughs> When it comes to the core game itself, I I swear to god, I, I, I don't know what happened in Meteor Match or Jungle Inferno, but for some dumb ass fucking reason, they removed the fact that you can switch teams. You can switch teams. So if you want to duel your friend, I don't, I don't know. You can only do that on like community servers, which is, you know, fine, but what if you want to play casual and perhaps join the other team to challenge your friend or do like a gimmick thingy or like do something like what happened to the extended level <laughs> vote system or what about scramble teams you know it's just weird that they it's very very it's very competitive well is what i'm trying to say because you can join a game where you meet a bunch of players six players that are in a party queue and they have like maximum level and they will freaking molest you and your team. So that's sometimes I used Recube when I see the red funny golden medals. It's because I, I know I'm not gonna have a good time. I just want back the old original team selection screen. Because then you can choose what team you wanna be on. Do you wanna attack? Do you wanna defend? Your friend also needs to join that if they want to, you know, join you, like the, the right team that is. Most of the players doesn't really they don't really mind what team they're on as long as as they play, you know? And speaking of teams what happened to spectator mode? Really? It's way harder to detect cheaters nowadays, especially when you have to kill yourself. Yet there, yes, I said it. If the other team suspects one of your scouts or snipers are cheating, you want to check them out. And sometimes you really, you really can't because you you don't have enough time, and that that's really frustrating because. Nowadays, people opt to cheat more because people are so used to bots. So if there is a player that just is a player, they're like, oh, well, it's not a bot, therefore he can't cheat, you know? It's way harder to detect them nowadays, especially when you can't switch to, like, spectator mode. So yeah, bring back the old team selection menu and spectators and the old vote system as well. I'm not talking about the old, I'm talking about the old, old, where you could extend the map, where you could scramble the teams, etc, etc, etc. You know, it's that was fun. If a team was getting rolled, you could vote to scramble the teams and pretty much everybody would agree on it and restart the round if it didn't feel balanced. Nobody's having fun on a team that's getting rolled. Nobody, like, nobody has fun on a team that's rolling and nobody's having fun on a team that's getting rolled. Nobody. Yeah, it's fun for those who are just killing them. <laughs> but those are like two to three people. Perhaps five, maybe. Five against like 24, uh, th that vote ain't gonna win. Team Scramble is good, and matches last longer. And people don't get put in a game where, it, where they're getting rolled. That solves that issue. But no, TF2 opted to go with the competitive route and try to bridge competitive and casual for some dumb reason. So now we're here. 
Also, off topic real quick, people are ask me why I don't like Uncle Topia. I mean, people have said that I don't like the sweats in there, and yes, that's true. I still like Uncle Topia. I've played it, like, a, a couple of times. It feels like good old TF2. Kind of. I mean, the random crits disabled, you know, it's fine, you know, I don't care, but uh, the random bullet spread, you know, it doesn't impact me really, it's just, okay. But what I don't like about it is the team restrictions and the fact that the people who find these servers are seasoned players, veteran players, and they, they, they know the game they're playing. Therefore, when you go in a match, you rarely see free-to-plays. And without free-to-plays and without, like, newer players, the game gets really sweaty really, really quick. There was this one time where I played with a bunch of my Discord uh, members, or it just, I just post a link and be like, hey, I play TF2 on this server, go and join. So people joined, right? After a couple of rounds, people decided to quit because, you know, they get tired, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then a bunch of other people joined, and this was, like, in the evening. Those players who join are veteran players. So then I was up against really competent snipers and medics and pyros and soldiers. I was getting my ass kicked, and I had to try much more harder to at least have some decent fun. So I can't really go hybrid night or I can't really go uh, practice anything because I would just lose. So yeah, no, that, that, that's the only reason why I don't like it is because really god tier players play the game. Especially snipers, which is a huge problem <laughs> because most of the time in casual, you, you meet up players who are casual, I guess, if that's the word I am looking for. Of course, you can go into a casual match and you'll find the sniper main who will say GG after a round when you couldn't even leave spawn. But most of the time, casual is pretty casual, so to speak. So yeah, that's my main gripe with the Uncle Topia is because the, the games get really, really sweaty. Really, really quick. So, yeah. Going back onto the core game. Capture the flag and... King of the Hill, uh, they need to be extended, in my opinion. Okay, maybe maybe not capture the flag, that, that, that one is more of a problem. Uh, but King of the Hill, why is the timer three minutes? I'm, or is it five? I don't know. I think it's th three minutes. That's really short. Most of the time, the points doesn't really go back and forth. Most of the time, one team captures the point two times and they win. So three minutes is gone like that, right? Of course, you have a second round. You know, you have you can play mo in total of two rounds, so that's six minutes. Six minutes of of playtime. That's really you know. So sometimes King of the Hill matches can take a bit of time to complete, but most of the time, one team rolls the other. Sometimes, maybe not, but still, three minutes is really short. That, that's the point. I think it should be at least seven minutes or six. Double that shit. I mean, on Ghost Fort, it's seven minutes. However, in Ghost Fort, you get interrupted by Merasmus every th 30 seconds or something. I don't know if that timer starts when before players capture the point after they've killed him. I don't know. <laughs> but still, King of the Hill gets it, it, is really fun. However, it's so short. You spend more time queuing for the map in the pre-round, starting the game, and then, you know, the match is over before even, you know... I want them to last longer because King of the Hill is really fun. It's sort of the deathmatch. Nobody really gives a shit about the control point unless the timer runs out. But yeah, extend that shit. And then there's this timer for you to choose maps. It's like, it's, it's way too long. Increase that shit so people don't leave. Most of the time it's faster to re on a match than you just wait in the original lobby that you're in. What I'm saying is that, I mean, you can basically sum all of this up to, like, you spend more time searching and in, in getting into matches than playing them. Because they're over really quick due to rolling or really, really bad timers. Short timers, I mean. And when it comes to capture the flag, I, I like, I don't know, like, some guy can just capture the intel three times and the game is over. That's it, and I think that's pretty much bullshit. Maybe increase the ca like the replayability to two. No, that's dumb. Actually, never mind. That's a that's a that's a terrible idea. Leave capture the flag as it is. It's so it's so dumb. But you know, I... also, can we get contracts? Valve, please. Can we get contracts? <laughs> can we get like another contract campaign? Like. Like, you, you need to play with the Hitman's heat maker, you need to kill, pe two, like, two people while zoomed in, and not miss, and, you know, go for headshots, you know, it's just something like that. Or perhaps use the Palmson, and try to remove as much cloak and uber shots from players as possible, you know, something like that. <laughs> you give us more contracts, and we can use that blood money to buy more Infernal Reward and Jungle Jackpot cases, because, guess what? 
Jean Leferno is never over, it has never been over, even though it was, it was released back in 2017, half a decade ago. So good job, Valve. And also, uh, Valve, while, while, while you're on that, can you, like, fix the item servers, please? They're, they're really inconsistent. Like, my gender is more consistent than the fucking item servers, I swear to god. <laughs> Um, and also, uh, can you, like, bring back gentleman skins? They're running out of supply. <laughs> and also, another thing, uh, the game coordinator p keeps putting me in a game for a map that I'm not queued for. So that's fun. I don't know if it, it happens to anyone else, but it, ha it happened to me. <laughs> so. Or perhaps a new MVM tour. <gasps> or mission, or, uh, blah. Two cities is really, really stale. And so it's uh, maybe a bit of expert, I don't know. But a new tour that upon completion they it uses the same drop loot as two cities however the australians are switched with uh, a strange frying propan or a strange Chris creek strange ubable caber strange splendid screen that would be really neat to get a hold of strange items that are locked behind boxes at this point you know another way to get them without spending Good old keys that you can buy stuff with, on a case that when you get the item, it's just not worth it in the end. And of course, you get uh, specialized kills or kits, you know, when you get two boxes or something. A, a kills or kit and a specialized kills or kit, that's what I mean. And instead of Australians, you get strange items that trader mains get a, get a hold of and try to sell for ridiculous prices. I mean, if, you, if you're a medic main and you're like, I don't know, like 14 years old, you have a strange medigun, you have a strange quick fix, you want a strange crit creek because you like the crit creek. Oh, what is the crit creek worth, you may ask? Well, a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money, which is dumb. And again, these strange rare drop items should obviously still have the same drop rate as Australium, so it doesn't drop in price that much. It's just another way of obtaining them. And a tour should be like three tours instead of four, maybe. Or maybe five, I don't know, you make your own choices, but that's my idea. Also, one more thing, when it comes to unboxing cases, uh, you, sometimes you can see the item before uh, uh, the box pop, pops down, and it's really annoying, and it's very, uh, very scuffed. Please fix that as well. But yeah, that's kind of like what I want for Smith Smith this year. Or maybe some changes in the far future, but we will never know when we get them. Because Valve is Valve and they don't open up their mouth at all. And it's really sad because at this at this stage of the game, I mean we're on a five year fucking dry streak at this point. You know NASA, they, they, they send like a spaceship into space and they let them do their own thing and they take photos. We're, we're like that spaceship man, Valve sent us off and we're, we don't know what the f we're heading we don't know if we're gonna get an update we don't know if the bots are gonna get fixed we don't know if some of the bugs and rebalances are gonna get you know attention we never know and also there are some people who think save tf2 work because they don't see any bots anymore rarely i guess they say uh, no i haven't i haven't seen a single bot today or in two days because I haven't been playing TF2 for the past few <laughs> for, for the past two days, so yeah, I haven't seen any bots either. But yeah, that's like everything I wanted to say. I hope you find this video somewhat entertaining or something to listen to. Uh, I, I'm currently packing my shit, so if you hear like an echo in my room, that's because I moved all of my shit outside in the rain. That it's getting destroyed right now. A homeless man just picked up my drawer. He's running away. The videos are gonna be very, 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 very slow. I have a filler ready to go, but I'm gonna publish this first, probably, because, again, fillers. I need to upload something, or else YouTube is gonna... They're gonna have sex with me, that's what we're gonna do. They're not gonna be very nice about it either. It's not gonna feel good. That's what I'm saying. I crossed my fingers for a good hat case, and I even cr double crossed my fingers with my other fingers and my toes. For a good warping case. Maybe not a good one, but, you know, let's just hope Valve just steps back into their good old selves when it comes to shoes and cosmetics. We can have a little bit of wackiness here and there when it comes to Christmas items. However, the main core of the game should be maintained. The art style, that is. 70s and 60s vintage old style clothing. That's what we're going for, man.
But there are some people who are like, Yeah, but it's a Christmas update. You, what do you, what do you want the Christmas item for? Christmas update? What do you, what's, what's wrong with you? They're doing the, like the same thing for Scream Fortress. So there are some people apparently out there who want to dress up as Santa Claus and and maybe an elf for Christmas or like for Halloween, I don't know, like a Ku Klux or perhaps like a skeleton for Halloween. I don't know. Apparently there are people out there who just want th wants these Christmas themed items only. Two thirds of the quote unquote seasonal updates that we get are holiday items for a game that isn't based on a holiday. So a bit of a bit of a rant there, but um Shut up. Anyways, that was a good that was that was a good talk for me. I think people will very much enjoy this video of me sharing my opinions on the internet that nobody cares about. People will definitely enjoy this. A good Christmas case, an award pink case, uh, some good maps. Some of them officially added to the queue. Give us back the old vote system, and the, and and a team selection to begin with. Also, before I end this video. Go and vote on Pam's stuff. He made some good shit and you should vote for him. He needs an item accepted into the game because if he doesn't, I'm gonna shit myself.